we want to find the first and second derivative of the given function. First, notice how we could rewrite natural log of three times x as natural log three plus natural log x using the product property of logarithms shown here at the top, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave the function as natural log three x. And because we have a quotient, we know we need to apply the quotient rule of differentiation to determine the first derivative. For the first derivative, the denominator is equal to the square of the denominator of the original function, which is the square of x to the fourth. The numerator is the denominator of x to the fourth times the derivative of the numerator, which is the derivative of natural log three x with respect to x, and then minus the numerator of natural log three x times the derivative of the denominator, which is the derivative of x to the fourth with respect to x. And now we need to find the derivative here and here. Notice the denominator of the derivative is going to be x to the eighth. When we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. And the numerator is x to the fourth, and then times the derivative of natural log three x with respect to x, which requires the chain rule. The derivative of natural log u with respect to x is equal to one divided by u times u prime, where in our case, u is equal to three x, which gives us one divided by three x times the derivative of three x, which is three. And then we have minus natural log of three x times the derivative of x to the fourth with respect to x, which is four x cubed. The denominator remains x to the eighth for now. And now looking at the numerator, we can simplify. Three divided by three simplifies the one. We're left with x to the fourth times one divided by x. Notice the x in the denominator simplifies to one and the x to the fourth simplifies to three factors of x, which gives us x cubed and then minus four x cubed natural log three x. Notice how this will simplify. Let's factor out x cubed from the numerator. This gives us x cubed times the quantity one minus four natural log three x. Our denominator is x to the eighth. Notice how there are three factors of x common between the numerator and denominator. X to the third simplifies to one. X to the eighth simplifies to x to the fifth. So the final derivative function is f prime of x equals the quantity one minus four natural log three x divided by x to the fifth. Let's go ahead and record this above and work on determining the second derivative. To find the second derivative, we need to find the derivative of the first derivative. F double prime of x has a denominator equal to the square of the denominator of the first derivative, which gives us the square of x to the fifth. And the numerator is the denominator of x to the fifth times the derivative of the numerator, which is the derivative of one minus four natural log three x, and then minus the numerator of one minus four natural log three x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is the derivative of x to the fifth with respect to x. And now we need to find the derivative here and here. The denominator of the second derivative is the square of x to the fifth, which is x to the 10th. In the numerator, we have x to the fifth times the derivative of one minus four natural log three x. The derivative of one is zero. And then we have negative four times the derivative of natural log three x, which is one divided by three x times three. And then we have minus the quantity one minus four natural log three x times the derivative of x to the fifth with respect to x, which is five x to the fourth. And now let's begin simplifying. The denominator remains x to the 10th for now. And then for the first product, again, three divided by three simplifies the one, and the factor of x in the denominator simplifies with the x to the fifth. The x in the denominator simplifies to one, and x to the fifth simplifies to x to the fourth. This leaves us with x to the fourth times negative four, 
which is negative 4x to the 4th. Next, we distribute 5x to the 4th. 5x to the 4th times 1 is 5x to the 4th, but we are subtracting, which gives us minus 5x to the 4th. And then we have 5x to the 4th times negative 4 natural log 3x, which is negative 20x to the 4th natural log 3x, but we are subtracting, and therefore it simplifies to plus 20x to the 4th natural log 3x. Combining like terms in the numerator, notice negative 4x to the 4th minus 5x to the 4th is negative 9x to the 4th. And then we have plus 20x to the 4th natural log 3x, all divided by x to the 10th. And now we'll factor out x to the 4th from the numerator so we can simplify further. We have the second derivative function is equal to x to the 4th times the quantity negative nine plus 20, natural log three x, all divided by x to the 10th. And now notice how we do have four factors of x in common between the numerator and denominator. x to the fourth simplifies to one, and x to the 10th simplifies to x to the sixth. So we now know the second derivative function is equal to the quantity negative nine plus 20 natural log three x, all divided by x to the sixth. So we have the first derivative above, and here we have the second derivative. I hope you found this helpful.